So I got tasked to follow up with a huge list of leads, clients or customers on this date and I need to send them customized emails. So I need to include their names in the email. How would you solve this? You have two options. Either you go with a mail merge solution like yet another mail merge where you need to separate the database or the list of contacts and then with three, four, maybe 10 clicks, send this template email to them. Of course, you need to wake up on time, be sure to be there even Saturdays and Sundays, and even if you go on vacation. Or you have option two, which is to use Zapier to automate that. Moreover, what Zapier allows you to do is to send also text messages. Hey there, I'm Andres from Connex. We are an automations and integrations agency, and we can help you automate this or any workflow at your company. Look for the link in the description below to book a free discovery call with us and brainstorm your automations or integrations ideas. To build this automation, I'm going to use Zapier. So head to zapier.com, create a free account there. And then once you are in, hit the create orange button on the top left. Go with Zaps and then focus on this second section of the screen. Zapier is a flat platform that allows you to connect and integrate apps and is based on events. So if you had to describe workflow in English, you could describe that with the formula when this happens to that. So let's start with this Zap for the trigger. I'm going to go with a scheduler. So every morning I need this to happen. So I'm going to set up the schedule by Zapier trigger. The trigger event, as you see, it, well, I have many options. You can go with day, hour, month, or week, or even a custom frequency. I'm going to go with every day. I'm going to hit continue. And the time of day, let's do 9 a.m. It's a good time everyone is waking up. Hit continue, test trigger. And this is the information I'm going to get every day. So I'm going to get the date in a pretty format, in different format, and then also years, months, days, hours separated as well. The next step is I like to send an email, okay? So let's look for Gmail. I use Gmail, you can use uh, Outlook as well. And then uh, this event would be to send an email and then I will have open phone as my texting service. So the action event is going to send a message. Okay, I have the bare bones of this integration. I need to pull the list of leads I need to connect with that day. So what I'm going to do is add a step in between and use Google Sheet to find those contacts. The action event is to find those rows and I'm going with uh, this one because this lookup spreadsheet row will return only one row. I need to connect with more than one contact every day. So I'm going with this option. I connect my account, hit continue, and then we set up this action. The spreadsheet I'm going to use is follow up list. The worksheet, I only have one. Lookup column is going to be date. And the lookup value, this is in US system. So I'm going to build this, bringing in the month, then slash, then day, and then slash, and finally the year. So let's see for today, today is 14th of November. I have two contacts I need to follow up with. Let's see what this brings back. So the row count, we can do this, set this to be the maximum, and we can leave the rest as it is. Hit continue and test step. There you go. I have row number two and number three, and I have the names, emails, and phone numbers that I need to follow up with. Awesome. Now let's hit continue. I don't want to send uh, the same email to everyone because I need to customize the email to include the name of the contact. So what I'm going to do is here add a step to go through each item and process each one by one. So I'm using looping by Zapier and this will bring the following steps under the umbrella of looping by Zapier. The action event is to create loop from line items. The output from the Google Sheets lookup action are line items. Hit continue, the values to loop I want to bring for every line item. I want to get the name, the email address, and the phone number. 
Now on this side, I'm going to map all names that I got from Google Sheets. There we go, column A, all emails and all phone numbers. And the looping by Zapier, what it's going to do is to get these and split them up. So I hit continue and test step. And this is telling me that the first iteration, it will have Emily as a name and email address as the email and the same for the phone number. And this is how the second loop iteration will look like. Let's hit continue, send email action. After connecting my account, hit continue. And here, let's do the Zapier magic. So I'm going to map the email address coming from step three, which is the looping by Zapier. Let's work on the body and the subject of this email. So the subject, I'm going to paste this and I'm going to paste also the body that I prepared beforehand. Now for the name, we said we need to include the name for each contact. So I'm bringing that up with this plus button on the side. Everything else looks great. I'm going to include my name here. We can include the link and everything else looks Good, so let's hit continue and test step. Worth testing these steps with um, another account that you may have or a friend of yours because this actually sent an email to this email address. And you can check that going into your Gmail and looking in the sent email tab. So here's the email. Perfect. Let's go back to Zapier. Now I want to send a text message. I'm going to use open phone. Of course, you can use your texting platform, be it uh, Ring Central or Dialpad to set this up. After you connect your account and you select send a message action, choose your primary phone number and the two, you are going to map here the phone number coming again from step three, the loop in by Zapier. So bring in the phone and the message can be pretty much the same. Perfect, let's test this step. Okay, it didn't like the phone number formatting, so I have two options here. Either I format that correctly in Google Sheets, or I can use another tool from Zapier, which is the formatter. So I'm going to use the formatter by Zapier action, bring in numbers, and then transform this number. There you go, format number. The input is going to be the one coming from looping by Zapier in the form here and the two I need it to be this first one the step there you go okay now I'm going to use this phone number here instead hit continue and test step okay this is a made up phone number so this is giving me an error for the time being but um, this will work once in production so I'm going to hit skip test publish and there you go, I'm ready to go. Remember, it's always worth renaming Zaps once you build them, and this will start following up with your customers, leads, or clients in an automated fashion, so you can go to something more important or relax a little bit more. Need help automating this? Click the link in the description below to meet us on Zoom, and we are more than happy to assist you in any integrations or automation needs. Cheers.